Hi, my name is Terry Evans. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the search engine that's built into the LDS Books iPhone iTouch application. As you'll see, the search engine is extremely fast and extremely powerful. It's unlike any other you'll experience on the iPhone. As a reminder, I am running the recording software on an iMac, so the application will be a little bit speedier than you'll experience on the iPhone or iTouch, but it's very comparable. So let's go ahead and get started. We launch our iBook LDS Books iPhone application. On the main toolbar, down the bottom right, you'll have the magnifying glass. This is the search icon. This is how you enter the search area. Go ahead and tap on it. Up at the top, you'll enter your search phrase. So let's type in something simple to start with. Let's do something like Jesus. Now as I'm typing, you'll notice that the search results are being updated in real time. This is actually how fast the search engine is. Let's do Jesus wept, the old infamous verse. One of the things you'll notice is for each of the results that's returned, we return a snippet. What the snippet has is each of the terms is in bold, so you can actually see those search terms in context. This allows you to very quickly visually identify if it's, if it's the verse you're looking for. Now in this case, we got three results back. The reason for that is we were in the all words mode. What that means is it'll return any of the verses in the entire standard works where the word Jesus and the word wept appear. They don't have to be in, they don't have to be after each other, they don't have to be in order. Now if we go over into phrase mode, it'll return one match. And in this case there's only one verse with the phrase Jesus wept. In this and if we go into any words mode, it'll return all the verses where the word Jesus or the word wept appears. And in this case it's pretty broad because Jesus appears so many times in the in the standard works. Alright, let's go back into the all words. If we want to navigate to one of these, we merely just click on it and it takes us right there. As you can see, anytime we navigate directly to a verse, the background is highlighted for very quick visual identification. These two arrows down here on the bottom will appear when you're either iterating through search results or a bookmark folder. In this case, we're doing search results. We have three search results returned. Clicking the down arrow navigates us to the next search result and finally the last one. And you can click the up to go back up through. This allows you to easily read all of those verses in context and quickly just flip through them to find the exact verse you're looking for. Let's go back in now and search for a couple other. Let's do Abinadi for example. Returns 32 results instantly. In here you can actually see the word Abinadi and you can see how it appears in the snippet. In this case it actually appears twice in that verse and so the two snippets are concatenated together so you can see it. And you can quickly go through and visually identify which verse you're looking for. Again, merely click on one, it takes you right there. You can iterate up and down through those verses. As I mentioned, this is a little bit faster on the iMac than you'll experience. Let's go back in. Now the search engine that's in LDS Books is extremely powerful and there's a lot of advanced features which we don't expect most users to use. But if you do want to use the more advanced search features, you could, there's a built-in help page where it explains those. You can perform wildcard searches and several other variations of advanced search features. I'm not going to go into those in this video, however. They are explained in here and there are several demos, uh, examples in here of things to search for if you want to use those. I hope that's a good overview of the searching capabilities that's built into the LDS Books iPhone iTouch application. Thank you.